Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. Hope you're having a fantastic day. In this edition, we explore a 2021 Venture RV Sonic 190 VRB, a unit that has zero slides. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,830 pounds and an amazing cargo carrying capacity of 1,945 pounds. The exterior length, 23 feet, three inches, and it has a very nice eight cubic foot DC refrigerator. It's black water capacity, 30 gallons, gray water, 30 gallons, fresh water, almost 40. This is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. I'm at uh, United RV in uh, Haltom, part of Fort Worth, actually. And I'm gonna be checking out uh, another RV. Uh, hope you enjoy it. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the uh, comment section. Let's check out this video. Here we are in the front. That's a nice uh, automotive style uh, cap, 220 pound propane tanks. Power tongue jack and an area in front uh, where you can put some batteries and also, let me show you a close up. Right there's your 12 volt uh, shut off. Very nice, very nice, very nice. There's the pass through storage. Inside the pass-through storage, you can see you have the uh, 30 amp cable, some lights, and it's nicely finished. You get standard uh, RV windows. This unit has uh, four tires, four wheels. There's your fresh tank fill. There's your suburban water heater or heater uh, exhaust where you put your 30 amp cable, your shower, your city water connection, etc., etc., etc. This unit has Trailer King RST tires, ST205 75R14 D range. There's the gray and black dumps and the scissor jack stabilizers. Let's see what kind of suspension it has. Just your regular suspension. By the way, uh, United RV is super busy right now. People are walking around all over the place uh, buying RVs because they got a they got a lot of inventory. So again, this is a uh, Venture RV. It's called a Sonic. You have a four inch square, four inches up, four inches uh, wide. And uh, you can put your stinky slinky in there. It's called the stinky slinky bumper. Here's your satellite and cable connections. They give you a little vinyl plasticky uh, tire cover just to protect it for a while. And of course, it's prepped for a Furion backup or observation camera. Of course, uh, all you need is the two wires back there and you can connect any kind of observation camera you want. Looks like LED uh, lights, not your cheap uh, bulb lights. Let me back up a little bit. Here's a side view, you get a nice little awning. And you have the uh, entry level step above steps, okay? These don't seem to have the pistons, so you can have, uh, get any, you know, it makes it easier to set up and set down. So again, this is the uh, 190 VRB by uh, Sonic, by Venture RV. This is a standard fare, a uh, slingshot. It's basically a little shock absorber. It says right here, the hitch weight is 430 pounds, unloaded vehicle weight, 
3,880 pounds, so pretty much anything can tow this. If you got a small SUV, maybe. Big SUV, for sure. Let's go inside. So now we're inside, I'm gonna give you a quick pan. There's the kitchen. There's the stove top, microwave, small TV, some cabinetry, a dinette with two uh, posts. Then over here, you have a bed, a Murphy-style bed, with quite a bit of cabinetry up there. That's very nice. A lot of time Murphy does, they just toss out that uh, cabinetry and say, uh, sorry, you can't have it. And again, you get some very nice cabinetry up here. And... Uh, Wow, this bangs into the fridge. That's not good. You gotta be very careful with that door because you can slam your, uh, your fridge right there. And um, there's your controls for your suburban air condition unit. And apparently that's a Level Mate Pro. Hmm, very nice, whatever that is. I gotta do some research on that one. Here's your tank level monitor. Your water pump and water heater controls. Also your GFCI, ground fault circuit interrupting uh, outlet. And um, a little uh, space up here. I don't know why they didn't go all the way up. I guess it's, I just didn't, didn't want to do it. <laughs> At least put build some cabinetry going up like, you know, around or something. So you get uh, three levels of storage here. That's a little bit of a lip. This is solid wood. This is not. This is solid wood. Again, this is not. <laughs> this is plastic coated wood. So there's a shower. I'm gonna go in there in a second, but let me turn around and check out the sink. This is a nice stainless steel sink. And of course you get a little uh, medicine cabinet up here with two levels of storage. That's plenty, don't you think? And over here, great room for your, uh, you know, various Tupperware containers full of stuff. Or you can just put clothes in here because it, is, it does have a hanging rod. So you can put all your outfits here and some other things down there. Let's check under the sink. It goes up about uh, 18 inches. You can put uh, some of your chemistry for your toilet, your black tank. Very nicely done, very clean. And you get a thermofoil countertops. That's always appreciated. Now let's check out the shower. <laughs> Again, I'm not a big fan of these little plastic uh, you know, controls in the plastic there. You could probably replace it if you do some research, get something uh, decent quality, or if you're only going to use it once or two weeks out of the year, uh, maybe that's good enough for you. Let's go check out the shower. Here I go inside the shower. Let me check it out. Ooh. So I'm 5'10", 175 pounds of super ugly. I got about four inches here. And of course, if you go inside here, uh, you got tons, tons of room. What do you think? Let's get out of Dodge and check out the rest of this unit. Again, this uh, sort of bashes right into the fridge. That's not a good idea. I, that is not good. It's going to bash right there. It has a Furion DC fridge, which I like. It's a good little fridge. Very nice. It says it's an eight cubic foot Furion fridge. And of course you have a very big freezing unit. Very nice. There's your TV and there's your IRV Technologies uh, head unit. And your and it's pre-wired for Wi-Fi from King Jack. And let's see what this flashing light back here is. Yeah, it looks like we got some solar going on here. Wow, very nice. This is a pulse width modulated uh, charge controller by GoPower. 
It's an entry level uh, charge control, but very, still very nice. You get some storage back here, okay? We'll take a peek at the roof in a bit. I like these, uh, the windows, not the windows, the, uh, the treatments for the uh, cabinet fronts. Very nice. We have a little dinette here. Pretty good quality. I like it. Let me see if I can fit in here. Oh, oh, I banged my knee there, but that's all right. So you got a window there and a window over here so you can get a nice cross breeze. And uh, these are nice chairs. Ah, they're nice and fluffy. I like them. And of course, you got a sealed uh, tabletop here. Wood grain sort of look. And of course, this pops down and becomes a bed. Yeah, you can uh, open these up and check underneath. Pretty sure on both sides. Let me double check this one. Yep, you can open it up and store stuff under there. Check out the kitchen. This is tight space here. <laughs> so you got a Furion stovetop and you get a three burner Furion uh, cooktop with stamped steel. Uh, sort of looks like uh, cast iron but stamped steel. Very nice cooktop. I like it. And uh, so you get smooth prep space here. And it has that funny, I always hate this. I hate this. I don't like it. But of course, you can always peel it off and put something that you actually like, like a subway tile looking thing or something. And you get a furry on microwave. And you get some more storage here. This goes quite a ways. This goes a good two and a half feet. And again, I like the uh, fronts for the uh, cabinets. There's the bed, but we're going to turn around and check out the cabinetry under here. You get uh, two small drawers and a door right here. Let's open this door. It's a good size storage area for your uh, maybe some of your kitchen cleaning supplies, your household cleaning supplies. Perfect in there. Maybe a small uh, garbage can. Again, uh, it's uh, solid wood door fronts. Uh, plywood box construction, metal glides, very nice. Metal handles, very nice. I like it. So now we're going to take a peek at the bed. Got plenty of storage. Again, typically on most uh, Murphy bed models, you lose that storage up there. So you got receptacles on the left side, and you got USB on the right side. So. And of course, there's some storage way back there on each side that you can shove some odds and ends. Let's open up this little cabinet. Down there, you have some alternating current receptacles. And you got a nice little closet over here for your outfits. So, it goes back quite a ways. Let's open up one of these. It plops up. Hey, this is up. has a piston. That's an upscale item. Even on Flagstaffs and Rockwoods, they don't have that on some of their uh, mini lights and micro lights. Very nice. And I do like that finish right there. So this hasn't uh, been set up yet. It has the, uh, you know, the cover right there and the mattress right here. Let me see if I can open this up without uh, killing myself, okay? Again, it folds. Let me it folds right there. I, I fold the first part of the blanket, okay, and then I put that back there. And as I has this uh, plenty of material here, and this folds like that, and this is supposed to go back. Ooh wee! Okay, there it goes. That was rather strenuous. Not super strenuous, but strenuous. So let's back up and take a peek. So there's your bed, the Murphy bed sofa there. You can sleep like that for little kids, they'd be happy with that. But of course this is for the adults. And you got this, let me open this up. Wow. I'm getting a workout today. 
So again, you have your sofa here, your Murphy bed back there. It's nicely hidden. You don't see nothing back there. That's good. You get some storage. So let me just sit down here and uh, yes, if you got your binoculars, you can see the TV. Very nice. Very, very nice. Of course, all the way around, pretty much accordion pleated style window coverings and these nice balances. I really like this unit. I think it's a very nice, easy to tow unit. It has high quality Furion uh, amenities. About the only thing I would try to fix really quick is the uh, bathroom, uh, you know, controls, all the different fixtures in there. Just get upgrade those if possible. So what do you think? So what do you think of this Sonic uh, unit? I really like it quite a bit, especially if you have, uh, you know, you can't tow something gigantic. You can't, th you know, tow a 30 footer, a 28 footer, a 25 footer. This is very nice. It has everything you need. It has a TV, it has a dinette, it has an oven, it has a microwave, it has a DC fridge. Big thumbs up for that. Nice shower and bathroom area. You know, stainless steel sink in the kitchen and in the bathroom. Very nice. And solid wood door fronts, you can't complain about that. If you have any questions about this unit, I would contact the kind and super friendly folks at United RV here in Haltom, Texas. Haltom is part of Fort Worth, to be honest with you, okay? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Again, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much. And if you have the time, please leave your kind and super friendly comments below the description. I'd appreciate it. I'll try to respond as soon as possible. Check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash jmgarza. Thank you very much. From Haltom City, uh, this has been Asus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.